Hey, what's up everybody? God bless you. This is Brother Brian. Love has a name YouTube channel. Thank you for coming on by. It is in the evening on March 21st, 2023. This is my second video of the day. Earlier, I shared a Donna Rigney, two prophetic words from Donna Rigney, and the presence and the glory of God was present. And I hope you all have enjoyed that. In that video, I mentioned that I would be doing a second video, which is the one you're watching now. And in this video, I'm going to share with you um, some insight into the topic of what's going on against 45 DJT. Amen. <clears throat> we know that a lot is um, a lot of news has been uh, spoken. There's a lot of updates and I want to share with you not only what I heard Prophet Manuel Johnson uh, share from what the Lord placed on his heart, but I also want to couple that and bring it together with what the Lord led prophet robin bullock and we love both these wonderful servants and their ministries i know that i support them and i'm sure many of you do also so <clears throat> what i want to do is not take away from what they're doing so definitely go and check out their ministries follow and support them as the holy spirit leads you but i do want to take uh, many times you know you may not have the time to watch all the videos and whatnot and um i'm able to most of the time so i want to bring these prophetic words this prophetic insight and these prophetic connections together for you here in this video as well as share with you some of the things the lord was showing me earlier today which i shared with my telegram channel amen and it has to do with numbers dates names and it's going to be pretty awesome why because there's no way that it was me who did it <laughs> so it's awesome because the Holy Spirit is the one who provided this insight and revelation. So I'm just going to pray. I'm going to share with you first what the Lord, <coughs> what the Lord had um, placed into the heart of Manuel Johnson and then Robin Bullock. And then I'm going to show you a cool little revelation that I noticed when I was looking at both of these words. All right. And then I'll share with you what I... Um, what I received this morning. All right, so let's get ready to pray. Lord God, we invite you, Jesus and Holy Spirit, thank you for bringing us together through this wonderful technology and through this wonderful platform, Father, that we, your people, are using for your glory, despite not all being pleased with what they hear. But Father, the truth shall go forth. We thank you for the blood of Jesus upon this platform and upon the airwaves. We ask that you anoint these words, the scriptures, the revelations, and may they not only edify your people, but may they may it encourage them and strengthen their faith so they can be solidified within them so that they may turn to you, cling to you, seek you more, and know that they know that they know deep in their being that you're not worried. And if we are in you and you are in us, we should not worry, but we should rest and be at peace knowing you got this. So Father, we do our part here. We partner with you, come into agreement corporately in this, with this prayer, with the scriptures we're going to read. And we choose to combine our faith that you may have your will and that we may be vessels to declare and decree your will into the earth, into the natural realm, so that the natural bows to the supernatural. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. All right. So a video from uh, Manuel Johnson that he released on March 20th, which was yesterday. Um, in this, the Lord gave him a scripture, and we're going to read the verses the Lord gave him, and we're going to combine that with what the Lord gave Robin Bullock, okay? But the Lord did say this to Manuel Johnson regarding number 45. He said, turn around. Okay, so Manuel Johnson was hearing the word, turn around regarding the situation, the situation of this alleged arrest and so forth. And the Lord said, my son, 
I will intervene. My plans will not fail. Mm, thank you, Lord. All right. And the Lord gave him Isaiah 41 to read. So we are going to read that right now. All right. So Isaiah 41, I am going to read you verses. I'm reading from the New King James for this video. And I'm reading to you from verse 8 through verse 13. All right. And the Lord's word says this. So this is what I'm just going to read it word for word. But this is a, a word to God's servant, D-J-T, all right? But you, Israel, all right? So, um, you know what? With God's help, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, direct this, as I declare this, to 45. And yes, I still have to speak in code. And I will do that uh, all the way through verse 13, all right? So, Holy Spirit, help me out here. But you, but you, DJT, are my servant, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you you away. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my right, with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced they shall be as nothing and those who strive with you shall perish you shall seek them and not find them those who contended with you those who war against you shall be as nothing as a non-existent thing for i the lord your god will hold your right hand saying to you fear not I will help you <laughs> oh awesome 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 all right let me I gotta turn to the next scripture that was Isaiah 41 all right verses 8 through 13 that's what the Lord emphasized to Manuel Johnson all right now shifting gears <coughs> today during the 11th hour Today's Tuesday, right, Lord? Uh, yes, okay. Today, 11th hour with Robin Bullock. The Lord had him read from Psalm 59. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, directing it to 45. We're going to go from verse 1 through 13. All right? <coughs> this is... Uh, this is being read from a first person. I'm going to see if I can uh, turn it around. <laughs> turn it around, turn around. Very funny, Lord. And I'm going to direct it as if praying it over DJT. All right? <coughs> so, verse 1, Psalm 59. Deliver him. DJT. From his enemies, O oh my God, defend him from those who rise up against him. Deliver him from the workers of iniquity and save him from bloodthirsty men. For look, they lie in wait for his life. The mighty gather against him, not for transgression, nor for his sin, O oh Lord. They run and prepare themselves, themselves through no fault of his. Awake and help him, and behold, you therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to punish all the nations. Do not be merciful to any wicked transgressors. At evening, 
They return, they growl like a dog and go all around the city. Indeed, they belch with their mouth. Swords are in their lips, for they say, who hears? But you, O oh Lord, shall laugh at them. You shall have all the nations in derision. I will... He, referring to DJT, I'm going to prophesy this over him. He will wait for you. Owe oh, you his strength. For God is his defense. You are his defense, Lord God. God of his mercy shall come and meet him. God shall let him see his desire on his enemies. Do not slay them, lest the people forget. <coughs> Scatter them by your power and bring them down, O Lord, his shield for the sin of their mouth listen to this part here for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips let them even be taken in their pride and for the cursing and lying which they speak consume them in wrath consume them that they may not be and let them know that God rules in Jacob and I'm going to add in DJT's life and to the ends of the earth. All right, that was verse 13. <clears throat> now, as a side note to this declaration, I do want to say God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Okay? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 7. We just read from the Old Testament, and though God is the same, and it's still his word, this was before Jesus came, showing us a better way to love our enemies, to pray for them. So I want to add, <coughs> because this is the heart of God. Though we have read such things as, O oh Lord, punish all the nations and do not be merciful. Though we have read this, and I just read it just, just to go through every verse, we do pray that the Father may extend his mercy for the sake of the souls, even of the wicked. Because a mature believer understands, and a mature believer is one who does not know only about God, but they know God personally. And because of this, <laughs> in one's life, in a mature believer's life, having a personal relationship with the Lord, we, the way we treat people, the way we see people, the way we pray for people, speak to people, speak about people and such, reflects how much we know the Father's heart. Remember when the Lord said that we should be merciful or we shall not receive mercy? That's New Testament. There is no excuse for wanting, uh, for someone saying, <clears throat> no excuse for someone uh, a believer much less to be wanting destruction suffering for someone else no matter how evil or wicked it is okay someone who who is desiring this upon their enemies has not yet yet understood the love of god and they have not yet understood the mercy of god and they have not yet understood the grace of God, nor the compassion. Okay? This is not my opinion. This is a spiritual truth. Jesus rebuked James and John for wanting to call down fire over a specific town. And he said, you know not of what spirit you are. The Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And Jesus would rebuke the Pharisees, Sadducees, and so forth because of their hypocrisy but yet with the sinners he loved on them they were in spiritual they had spiritual blindness but at least like the parable of the man who would not even look up to heaven and he would beat his chest and say have mercy on me lord i am a sinner he left right with god in the eyes of god that day and not the pharisee who stood there arrogant with this chest puffed out saying lord i do this for you and this for you and this for you god resists the proud but gives grace 
to the humble. And so, <clears throat> that's funny. And so, the things we've just read from the scripture, we do not pray the destruction of the souls of the, of the enemies, of those who are doing wrong now. We pray that for justice to come forth, and we do pray for judgment, just judgment to come forth, but according to God's will, not according to our will, not according to our desire. We should want their souls to be saved. Amen. All right. Well, let me let me just pass on. I could go deeper into that, but I'm going to pass on. I'm going to note two things here. I thought this was super cool that both of these passages, what I read to you, they both ended on the 13th verse which I think is kind of cool because you see the dark light, <coughs> the dark side, excuse me. They like to use the number 13, uh, symbolic of rebellion. You know, they like to be superstitious and, and use that to do demonic things. Well, kind of, well, this right here is kind of like, I see it as an in your face devil from God in giving the scripture of Isaiah 41 and Psalm 59. And we're, we're blessing and decreeing and declaring life over DJT and into the situation. And we have to use our voices to speak, to allow the Holy Spirit to speak through us into this situation. Not through violence, but in using our mouths, knowing that we have authority. All right. <clears throat> and the uh, another thing the Lord showed me, which I thought was like, whoa, I had to check my math a few times here. But if you take Isaiah 41, okay, so you take 41 here, and you take Psalm 59, well, when you add them together, it equals 100. Complete, like a, a completion, right? 100%, you could even say. So look at that. The Lord is coupling this. He gave one scripture to Manuel Johnson, one to Robin Bullock. You put them together. <coughs> and this is the glory of uh, king and priest, I'm just using myself for an example, the Lord brought it together for me, and so it is the honor of kings to search a matter out. And so in spending time with the Lord and, and allowing him to, to minister, he just brought this together. So how cool is that? And we all get to share in this. Amen. Okay, that's what I have to share from both of them. Now let me share with you briefly um, what I shared with my telegram regarding some very cool revelations with numbers and so forth okay um uh, i'm just going to read through this here <coughs> we will not get too deep in okay uh okay word for word now i'm going to get to this and you're probably going to find a lot of uh, moments where it's like whoa isn't it interesting that this person's name is this and it's connected with this event that was happening today with this date and this this story in the bible so there's going to be a lot of like, hmm, that is very interesting. But in essence, I'm not sure how it all really fits or even if it all really makes sense. I mean, I'm going to lay it out there. Mm, thank you, Lord. And as a child that is just in awe and wonder of his God and just loves to see all the connections, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying that it's going to be a certain way. That's not my job. God hasn't told me that. If he did, then I would say it. But he has not. OK, so this is fun this is part of your uh, walk with the lord and how the lord is fun he's god of joy and he loves to do things and he loves to see his children get excited which is why i get excited and which is why those who want to say things against it it's like i don't really care because i'm pleasing god i'm not here to please the religious folks who think that god doesn't speak in numbers or names and they don't understand prophecy or the prophetic and so forth i would hope that they open their hearts because then they would have a an actual relationship with the Lord and a, an enriched one at that. All right. So anyway, this is what I shared with Telegram. I said, <clears throat> good morning, saints. I said, I went to bed around 1 a.m. And I couldn't sleep until around 2 a.m. There was a restlessness, which is very unusual for me. And that's true. <clears throat> but I prayed in tongues within myself until I fell asleep. And I try to do that every night. Uh, very good tip there. Okay, hope you hope you you got that. Amazingly, it seems that I can. Uh, and this this was in the morning when I was texting this. So I said, amazingly, it seems like I can still feel my spirit 
in me still praying in tongues. It's, it's perpetual. It's almost like on, it was on autopilot, it seemed. Then I said, this morning a few thoughts were coming to mind. Nothing concrete, but I wanted to share some interesting things about today, which is the 21st, and the theme of DJT and the case against him, how there may be symbolism in certain numbers, names, and again, nothing concrete. But I started sharing. Okay, now this is me talking to you freely here. I started sharing. And when I was done sharing, all of a sudden, more revelations started coming. So the first half of this, and I'll tell you the stopping point, was already in my mind and I was just putting it in a text. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, the second half of it just kind of came as I was in the midst of it. So many times we, we have to take that step of faith. And in the process, the Lord begins to begins to reveal more. Okay. All right. So bullet point, uh, the first bullet point, I'll say that. The accuser in this case against DJT, uh, her name is Stormy Daniels. Okay. Notice the name. Stormy relates to the word storm, a tempest. And it could also symbolize spiritual warfare in the heavens. Okay. Bullet point number two, her, um, sorry, in the same bullet point. So her first name is Stormy. The second name, last name, Daniels. Okay. Even if, even though I read, it's not her real name. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, last name, Daniels. Made me think of the book of Daniel, the prophet Daniel. Okay. Keep it in mind. Bullet point number two. Today, as of this video, when I texted this, was the 21st of March. Okay. 21. Daniel's prayer in the book of Daniel, when he fasted and prayed, it was heard immediately. The angel Gabriel said, but it took 21 days for the answer to arrive. Okay. So now we have interesting connections, peculiar and very intriguing thoughts with the name Stormy, with Daniels, and with 21 being the 21st today. Next, the name of the former attorney that is, is trying to come against number 45 in the present case. <clears throat> that person's name is Michael Cohen. Interesting that his first name is Michael. And in the same book of Daniel, during that whole time of the 21 day fast of Daniel and so forth, the, Ar the Archangel Gabriel went to seek help from the Archangel Michael. Okay, so then there's that again. I thought that was like, okay, cool. Very cool, Lord. Now I moved on. <clears throat> And today's date was not only the 21st, but it was 3 forward slash 21, March 21st, okay? 3 21. I felt led to read Daniel 3 21. And it speaks of the three Hebrew boys that were being thrown into the fiery furnace, okay? March is the third month. Three Hebrew boys in chapter 3 of Daniel in verse 21 321 March 21st the three boys thrown being thrown into the into the fiery furnace and that is symbolic of their faith being tested okay uh, right there that's when I, that was the first half uh, or about the first half the rest of this which I'm going to read started to unfold as I was typing this. Okay, so the second part, <clears throat> once again, today being 321. Three, the number three symbolizes divine unity. Uh, Troy Brewer likes to call it the whole enchilada, because when you think of three, you can think of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, our God, three in one. You think of perfect completion. 
you think of such things as man is made up of uh, man ha man is a spirit has a soul and lives in a body <clears throat> and there are other things when the Lord wants to show like a type of completion but three makes me think divine completion all right then you have uh, the number 21 the number 21 symbolizes the spirit made manifest and it also symbolizes light exposing the darkness and then kind of like a saying this is what Troy Brewer was saying 21 is when God shows up so um, I thought it was very cool that nothing came about this very day so almost in a sense we could almost put that together without trying to force things to make sense it would almost seem to fit that God showed up and nothing happened this day now I understand tomorrow's the 22nd and they're saying in the news that tomorrow may be the day we just will see how things transpire it doesn't shake my faith it shouldn't shake yours and we shouldn't be all upset about things amen <clears throat> let's stay flexible and pliable so the Lord can mold us now we said what the number three means with what 21 means and now the Lord led me to, to take those two numbers and say, okay, 21 divided by 3 equals 7 plus 7 plus 7. Triple 7. We know the Lord likes the number 7. Number 7 symbolizes completion, spiritual perfection. So I thought that was cool as well. <clears throat> and now the final part of this cool little revelation it, um, I typed this up. I said, <clears throat> wow, much of this is unfolding as I type. Now, I was quickened, or now I was quickened to look up Daniel chapter 7, verse 21. Also, and it is about the Antichrist spirit waging war against the saints. In this case, would, in this prophetic example, it would be DJT. Well, and America, the saints, the remnants here. Amen. <clears throat> That scripture, Daniel 7, 21, deals with the Antichrist spirit waging war against the saints and prevailing against them. But, check out what verse 22 says. Verse 22 says, Until the Ancient of Days arrived and pronounced judgment in favor of the saints of the Most High, and the time came for them to possess the kingdom. Wow. So who knows? Perhaps there will be something happening tomorrow, March 22nd, that could tie into this. And perhaps not. But it's still fun to think about it. Okay? <clears throat> this is not me predicting anything. This is not me trying to force anything. Because it is the Holy Spirit who opened up the revelation. I take zero credit. And so it is the Holy Spirit. It is the decision of God, the Lord Jesus whether something happens but i'm not the lord you're not the lord he's the lord and we rejoice to see his handiwork okay and so just remember the number 22 means personal revelation it means when the light comes on and it means when light makes something manifest Okay, 21 was the spirit made manifest. 22 is when light makes something manifest. Perhaps there will be some sort of major development, major exposure. We don't know. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would share that with you. And <clears throat> we know that all things are going to work for the good of us who love God. 45 loves God and are called according to his purpose and we do know 45 is called according to God's purpose all right so let's briefly just make a final prayer declaration and I'll let you go father we thank you for the wonderful things you show us we thank you for using your servants Manuel Johnson Robin Bullock I thank you Lord for what you shared 
with me, Father, for we all see in part and prophesy in part, and we give you all the glory, Lord. We remain in joy, in peace, in that place of rest, and full of the love of God, decreeing and declaring from this place corporately together, united with the saints all across the world, that your will shall be done regarding 45. And we bless him with life, health, vitality, strength, and all the spiritual blessings that are his in Christ Jesus, as your word says. And that is for us as well. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, expose the darkness. Father, make a laughing stock of all your enemies who dare in their arrogance continue their foolish and idiotic, if I may say, ways. It is just baffling, but so be it. We pray, Lord, that they may repent, that they may turn to you, even if it's in their last breath. But Lord, as long as they continue to be stubborn, may they continue to reap what they sow. And may the harvest come speedily in the name of Jesus. I decree this forth. Your holy angels surround the entire DJT family and team and those who are sincere around him. And may anybody who may be around him that is not of you and not on the side of righteousness, may they be plucked out and removed now in Jesus' mighty name. We plead the blood of the Lamb upon them. And we thank you, Lord. And Father, may you guide those around who may want to do things such as protest. May everything be peaceful, no violence, Lord. For the enemies would want this to happen, to attempt to do another J6. But no, Lord. We pray against that in Jesus' name. We curse to the root every demonic plan, plot, scheme, wild strategy of the devil. We say no. Denied. In Jesus' name. And to your will, we say, yes, we agree. Bring it forth. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, thank you for this time. Thank you for praying with me and agreeing with me. Please do subscribe if this is your first time. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Look down below as well so you can find out how you can follow the ministries of Mano Johnson, Robin Bullock. And if you like what you see in terms of my shirt and you want to see some other cool merchandise, I do have a link there from, um, from my shop where the Lord has had me uh, create 31 designs so far. Amen. This is one of the most, uh, the more popular ones. Praise the Lord. So God bless you all. Love you all. And I can't wait to hear how this has video has blessed you. Bye-bye.